Hello, my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC Global. Today, I am at Hardy Machine, and I get to spend time with my good friend and everybody's good friend who is unforgettable, Buddy Miller. We're standing in front of the Nakamura Tome, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. But first, we're going to learn a little bit about Buddy himself, what got him involved in manufacturing, and the passion that he has about the manufacturing world in general. So, Buddy, please, if you could explain to our audience who you are, how you got into it. I know manufacturing isn't your original field, but your passion is contagious. So, please, share with our audience. So, hi, I'm Buddy Miller. Um, I've been with Hardy Machine three to four years, roughly right about now. I did spend a predominant amount of my career in printing, so entry level to the top of uh, running the facility. Um, so, my, But my history has been in making magazines, not making parts, machine parts. So, I am very mechanically inclined, went through operating machines and into supervision management. Got my college degree and got smart so I could be relevant in different conversations, right? Came to Hardy Machine three or four years ago. Uh, I'm lean trained, so continuous improvement. So some of the things that, that were being done at Hardy, uh, Bill is uh, very much a family man and he treats his employees that way as well, but um, it's very family oriented here. Uh, the employees are his world. The machines are his world. And you can see it as you walk around here. Uh, the, the facility is beautiful. The machines are beautiful. Puts a lot of care and attention in into his employees and the machines. For me, I fit here at Hardy. I felt immediately right when I first came in the building just because you can almost sense it in the building. But Bill is, uh, every word that he says is the truth. Um, he's very easy to follow. He's very easy to trust. Um, so that's what brought me here. Uh, coming into the machining, world. No, I didn't have any experience with it, but it's following manufacturing, following uh, continuous improvement. There was a big opportunity for me to help Bill move the business forward. Standing behind me is the uh, Nakamura NTMX. This is another huge opportunity for us. Uh, it fell into our laps essentially last year. Bill and I traveled out to Colorado to look at the machine. Now, this is a big girl. This thing is a big girl, 14,500 kilograms, and I don't know what that means, but something like 33,000 pounds. Bill and I uh, drove out to Colorado last year. We had this opportunity, uh, machine shop on, out in Colorado, buy some newly used, gently used machines. This machine was a year old. Now, it didn't really fit our business model, really doesn't really fit our per portfolio of parts. However, Bill's the kind of guy where he wants the employees, he, he always says, the, the ceiling for the employee is not here, it's wherever you want to take it. So Bill buys machinery that doesn't necessarily uh, fit where he wants to go. He buys machinery where he thinks his staff or the uh, machinist can take it. It might be a hot shot that, that says, hey, my machine's not doing enough. I'd love to have a B access or I'd like to have different options on my machine. And Bill go out and get it because if he values the employee and values the uh, service of that employee, he's going to buy the best that's out there to make the two match. This thing um, was an opportunity, like I said, last year. Now, what it's allowed us to do here, this, is, uh, this does milling and turning. So for us, this part would have been operated on or machined on two separate machines in the past. It would have been on a lathe, but then go over to the mill. So from my world, my world of lean continuous improvement, uh, product types, product families, product groups, material types and groups, right? This makes total sense because we can save that one setup on the other machine. Also, it puts the complete program in one machinist's hands. So historically here at Hardy Machine, we're a job shop, but Bill has, from the start, every machinist is a programmer, a setup, and also can operate their machines, right? They can uh, do the full piece, the first piece inspection and maintain the quality throughout. But this will allow, allow, actually allow us to move into the next generation of, could be employees, also could be the next generation of what's in our portfolio. This part that's running behind us here is a new part that we have with a new customer in the last year. Again, this is something that would have been machined on two separate machines, a lathe and then a mill, but this machine actually allows us to do that. We don't really have a whole lot of work that fits this machine, but what this machine really represents is the possibilities for where our staff can take this machine. It was a great price. We really couldn't turn it down. Bill looked at it like, this can make us better, so we did it. We pulled the trigger. Uh, we're in a beautiful area here. A lot of our employees live close by, so many of our uh, parts can run unattended to. You know, we might have, uh, most of our machines have either magazine bar loaders or single bar loaders. Most of them have magazines so that we can run uh, consistently, consecutively, without stopping. This one here has a three foot, four foot bar feeder. Four foot bar feeder, most of the other ones in our shop have threes. 
But yeah, something like uh, across the way, we have three Nakamura's right in this general area, 28 parts out of one bar. And keep the spindles turning, right? Check your parts, off you go. Check your parts, off you go. We have a lot of opportunities here to keep the spindles turning, but it also comes back to that employee and the skill that they have to be able to set it up so they can run quality with the production, um, all those things together. Um, yes, all the bells and whistles are here, all the equipment's here. In the other bay where Bill was just, we are putting in another Nakamura, brand new three foot bar feeder as well, a magazine bar feeder, just because, so therefore you can continue that continuous feed of the material. We just got done with a job here that we actually had to uh, make a special spindle liner. Something that would have ran on a mill, but we actually outfitted it in Bill's brain to run on this machine. It was very successful for us. So it's just opportunities, different way of thinking, different way of running other parts with the technology that we have. Right, and 32 machines, 32 people, been mm -hmm. in business, I think you mentioned already, since 1957. 1957. Same partners for 60 years. I yeah. mean, the solid foundation is there. So if somebody's watching this video and they go, man, that looks like a great place to work. Right. How would they get in touch with you, buddy? How would they find out more, maybe reach out to you to learn more? Well, you know, uh, our website uh, is www.hardymachinellc.com. Uh, we just revamped it a few years ago. We are going to become active in social media, something that we need to do. You know, I have a 21-year-old daughter and a 19-year-old daughter, and that's where they live, on their social media. But for us to be relevant, we're going to need to reach out into the into social in, uh, social media, maybe LinkedIn. I don't know about some of the other uh, channels, but my biggest concern here at Hardy is how do we perpetuate what we have going forward when schools are not teaching machining like they did even when I was in school. You know, when I was in school, they had like 40 students in each class in a machine shop class. Here at MTD Global, we're going to do everything we can to bridge that skills gap and get the word out, not just about your company, but yep. manufacturing in general. And don't tell the guys at MTD Global, but I'm going to turn in my resume before I leave here Please do. and see what you guys think. <laughs> so guys out there, I'm taking at least one position, but don't tell the guys at MTD Global. I did ask you if, if you... <laughs> So, buddy, thank you so much for sharing. It's really, really great to get to know you better, get to learn more about the Nakamura and how it's benefited you and Hardy Machine. What a great company. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, too. And I can't say enough about this company and what you guys are doing for us. Thank you very much. Absolutely. All right.